Hey Fluffy, come on boy. Come on. You in there, buddy? Good morning, Fluffy. Good morning, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O. What am I here with the Fluffy Poodle? That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his green hair. Today, you and I are gonna be heading over to the Louisville Robley Rex VA Hospital. That's the Veterans Hospital because I have to do some more tests. You can tell by the time right there, it is extremely early in the morning. So Fluffy, I need you to go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy this short little drive until we get to the VA hospital. Now, a lot of you may be curious, like how far do I actually have to drive to go to my doctor? And the truth is, I have to drive a whole hour away. That's a pretty far distance all the way from my house just to go to a doctor, but hey, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Yep, we finally made it here to the VA hospital. Now, just like every VA hospital, we have to actually try to find parking uh, and uh, parking is always a headache. Fluffy, you see those right there? Yeah, those parking spots are pretty far away. Let's try to find something a little bit closer. Well, dog, I forgot to put on his vest. So people, I got to put on his vest. Watch this. Good boy. Here's a good boy, fluffy touch. All right, let me reach under here, get this part. All right, dog, your vest is on, but I gotta put the uh, leash on your collar. Fluffy, break. Heel. Good boy. Fluffy, before we go inside, we gotta spray some of that Doggio Arf Mani. Ooh, it makes them smell good. Right now we're all smiles, but things are gonna change here in a little bit, you know, especially when we go in and figure out this appointment. Yep. How you doing today? Good, yourself, sir? Good, good, thank you. No problem, you have a great day as well. Hey, you have a great morning and great day as well. Hey Fluffy, you see the first obstacle right here? First obstacle um, as we're approaching the VA hospital are stairs. Um, Fluffy does really good on stairs. Comment down below if your dog does good at stairs. If I stop, he steps. If I go, he goes. Now, out of respect to all the patients, the veterans, the employees, everybody here, we are not gonna film um, anything that's gonna show anything like that. So we'll see you guys here in a second after this short little montage. Well, we made it back inside the vehicle and the appointment's all over. The doctor pretty much said that uh, we have to go and do another major test. Fluffy, we're talking about a test that you can't come to and I'm gonna have to stay overnight for. A test where they're gonna have to check to make sure my brain is doing some things that it's supposed to, my lungs, my heart, my throat, my mouth, like this is, this is kind of wild and crazy. The good thing is, Fluffy, is we have some amazing doctors here at the VA hospital that's really taking care of us veterans. So I really want to just take a second and thank all those people right there in that hospital. Thank you for what you are doing because it really, truly is greatly appreciated. Now it's time for Fluffy and I to hit the road and go to another college class for the day. So we'll see you guys here in a second. I know that I told you I was gonna cut to the scene of me being in class, but I really wanted to jump on here and tell you guys, the main reason why we video and show you guys everything is because we know that everybody in the whole world struggles. I said that with a little frog in my throat, so let me repeat that, everybody in the whole world struggles. Most people just hide it better than others. So I film my whole life, tell everybody about everything that I've been through in my life to help motivate, inspire, and help people all around the world see that no matter what you're going through, no matter what your disability is, no matter anything, you can and will get through 
your struggles. And you can follow your dreams no matter what circumstances you're going through. Yes, there's going to be obstacles, you know, that you're going to have to overcome. Life isn't a flat road. It's full of hills, valleys, twists and turns. And with all that stuff that, you know, can happen in your life, I really want you to think about this. When you pass away, will people remember you? Or will people remember the legacy that you've left? Now, I know me personally, I'm trying to inspire and change the whole world one person at a time. And the Fluffy Poodle and I do that by showing everybody, you know, the multiple obstacles that we go through on a daily basis. It's windy. We're over here at the ATB building at Elizabethtown Community College. Inside my truck right here, I have some strawberries. We're talking about two flats of strawberries that we're gonna donate to the Family Scholar House. That's right, Moda Fate LLC. Um, my company is donating some strawberries to the Family Scholar House so the people, so some families in need have some dessert for today. And also pick up some amazing clothes because it's a clothing event. Check this out. There is a whole lot of clothes everywhere. I mean, there's clothes out there. There's clothes in here. There's strawberries right there. Popcorn right there. Water. We have a little bit of everything because the Family Scholar House helps out everybody in need. And even if you're not in need, just come on over, check them out, see the resources that they have to um, offer, and you never know who you might meet, who you might be able to network with. With that being said, let's uh, go and head on over over to class. Well, dog, it looks like we forgot to film the outro. So here's the outro. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time you guys know who this is. It's Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his green hair. We'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode. Bye-bye.